Hello everyone and welcome to another Star Wars figure review. Today we're going to take a look at a very very cool figure from the Black Series 3 and 3 quarter inch line. This continues my recent reviews of the final wave of the Black Series line to be released before the Force Awakens toys arrive. And in today's review we're going to take a look at a character who will actually return in Episode 7. And it is of course none other than this guy, the scruffy looking nerf herder himself, Han Solo. Now with this particular figure, and we do get a vast uh, improvement and a much needed upgrade over a previous release and I'll talk about that in just a little bit but as you can see this particular hand solo figure is very scene specific and again we'll touch base on all of that in just a little bit before we do as always we're going to take a look at the packaging that this guy comes in once again we do get the standard black series look to the card back we have the uh, TIE Fighter pilot design going on in the background there have an image of Han Solo down in the bottom corner and on the reverse side as I showed you in my last review because this uh, particular figure is a European release we just have that multi-language warning sticker on the back which is a bit of a shame it takes away from the overall aesthetic of the package but you know I'm not keeping these things carded so I really couldn't care less so onto the figure itself and as I said at the beginning of the video this particular Han Solo figure is very scene specific now, of course, you will recognise this figure from two movies, really. Um, one, The Empire Strikes Back, and two, Return of the Jedi. Because this particular figure is actually based on two appearances of Han Solo, which are, of course, his appearance in the Carbonite Freezing Chamber, or the Carbonite Block from Episode 6. Now, I'm not entirely sure which particular film this figure is meant to be... Uh, um, based on whether it's the Empire Strikes Back when he's about to go into the freezing chamber or whether it's supposed to be a bit of a blend of figures from Return of the Jedi and, and the Empire Strikes Back as well because as you can see he does come with the binders or the handcuffs um, just around the wrists and also around the legs which would indicate that this figure is based on his appearance uh, in the Empire Strikes Back prior to being put into Carbonite uh, but at the same time this could be when he's been uh, taken prisoner by Jabba, you know, you can basically, it's a multi-purpose Han Solo figure in many ways. Now, not only do we get the Han Solo figure himself with this particular Black Series action figure, but we do get a vital accessory, and that is, of course, the Carbonite block. And I'll give you a look at that in just a little bit. I'm a little bit disappointed with the Carbonite block, but again, I'll, I'll talk about why that is um, in just a little bit. Um, before I do, we'll run through this particular figure. Now, I do actually like this guy, and as I said, he is a vast improvement and a major upgrade of the previous Han Solo and Carbonite figure that was released way back in 2006. Uh, obviously, the articulation is hugely improved, the likeness is fairly decent, uh, and the sculpt is pretty much on the money as well. Now, one thing to point out about this particular figure is the fact that the head sculpt seems to be borrowed from the Saga Legends Han Solo figures that have been released recently. Um, as I say that, a pop-up should appear somewhere on the screen for you to check out my recent review on the Saga Legends Han Solo in Bespin outfit, and you'll probably recognise the head sculpt from that particular figure, although it has also been used on the Endo trench coat variation from the Saga Legends line as well. Now, aside from the head sculpt, the rest of the figure is brand new. And as you can see, we've got a very detailed look for Han Solo. Um, no blaster or force pike included, sadly, but we do get a fair share of accessories with this one, so it's not a major issue. Obviously, he's missing his trademark black waistcoat, and he doesn't have his belt as he's been stripped of all his weapons. He's wearing the brown pants, and you've got the yellow stripe running down the leg there. And as you can see, once again, you've got binders around the ankles, which can be removed if you so wish. In terms of articulation, this is pretty much one of the most articulated hand solo figures that you'll get. He has a ball joint at the head, ball hinges at the shoulders and elbows, swivels at the forearms, uh, swivel at the waist, swivels at the hips, ball hinges at the knees and ball hinges at the ankles. So decent articulation all round and a decent looking figure as well. Uh, really happy to have added this one to the collection. And I must admit, the Saga Collection 2006 release of Han Solo in Carbonite was a decent figure, uh, but this one really does blow it out of the water. Really nice attempt by Hasbro, and a great update on a much needed figure. So, with Han Solo in uh, his, you know, uh, I'll not say human, but 
unfrozen appearance uh, we move on now to the major accessory that's included with this figure and that is of course the carbonite block which is very very cool uh, I am a little bit disappointed with it in a few aspects of its design but I'll talk about that in just a little bit but as you can see the sculpt on this carbonite block is definitely spot on uh, this has never really been an issue for Hasbro, they've always done a really good job on the carbonite blocks um, even dating back to the Power of the Force line, you know, the accuracy and overall sculpt has never been an issue and I'm really really happy with how the carbonite block itself looks as you can see Han is frozen there at the front and down the sides we do have those temperature controls and all that sort of stuff going on down there now the carbonite block itself is a reasonable size uh, obviously it's in scale with Han himself so it's not hard to imagine Han uh, being stuck inside there however one flaw that I have with the design of this carbonite block is the fact that you can't actually clip the figure in place which in my opinion would have been a huge plus you know what I've always loved about the possibility or the idea of a Han Solo in carbonite figure is the fact that you can clip the figure in the back very similar to how you could with the vintage release from 83 and also the power of the force release from 1995 um, Obviously you can't do that with this figure, it's just one solid block, which does take away from uh, you know, some of the playability in many ways, but these particular figures are aimed at adult collectors as opposed to children, so that probably explains why that play feature isn't included. Now another issue that I have with this particular carbonite block is the fact that the edges are slanted, so you can't actually stand this thing up in a display, uh, and there's no hole on the back to hang it up or anything like that, so you just kind of had to sort of rest it up against a wall or something like that in some of your displays uh, unless you customize it which is a little bit of a shame you know it's not really um, being designed with uh, displayability if that's a real word uh, in mind but sculpt wise and uh, overall aesthetics are very very nice and I'm really pleased to see it included with this figure so personally I find this to be one of the most value for money figures from the Black Series 3 and 3 quarter inch line. Get a ton of plastic for your money, you know the Carbonite block, Han Solo himself and some really cool accessories in the form of the binders. Uh, and overall it's just a great figure, highly recommended update uh, over the Saga 2006 release and a vital element of any Star Wars collection. So. Do feel free to check this one out for yourself, you can purchase it and add it to your collection via the link in the video description. And as always, I hope you've enjoyed this review, and I'll be back with many more very soon. Got a couple of really cool Jawas to give you a look at next, so stay tuned for those. And until next time, as always, thank you for watching, keep collecting, and may the force be with you.